Quantum computing is no longer science fiction, it's the next frontier of global innovation. Right now, the US and China are racing to build the systems that could control tomorrow's AI, cybersecurity, and communications. This video unpacks the breakthroughs, strategies, and real-world impact behind this high-stakes competition and why whoever masters this tech may define how the digital world works for decades to come. Quantum computing isn't just accelerating. It's leaping forward in ways that are setting new standards for global innovation. Both China and the United States have crossed critical milestones in recent years, showing that the race for practical quantum systems is no longer hypothetical. China's most notable breakthrough came in 2020, when the University of Science and Technology of China, USDC, unveiled Jiuzhong, a photonic quantum computer. This machine completed a complex sampling calculation in 200 seconds, a task that would take the world's most powerful classical supercomputers over 2.5 billion years to solve. This wasn't just a fast processor. It was a clear demonstration of quantum advantage. China didn't stop there. In 2021, USDC introduced Zukongzi 2.1, a 66-qubit superconducting quantum processor. Two years later, in 2023, they unveiled Zukongzi 3.0, pushing the count to 105 qubits and improving performance significantly. Reports suggest that this system outperformed Google's 2019 Sycamore experiment by a factor of up to 1 million in specific benchmark tasks. These achievements highlighted not only scaling in hardware, but also optimization in algorithms and system stability. Meanwhile, the U.S. has maintained a strong leadership position through industry innovation and academic collaboration. In 2019, Google's Sycamore processor completed a sampling calculation in 200 seconds, a task estimated to take a classical machine 10,000 years. Then came Willow in 2024, a processor designed to move beyond speed by focusing on fault-tolerant quantum computing. It used error-corrected logical qubits, which are critical for future quantum systems to run reliably and at scale. While China is investing over 1 trillion yuan, approximately $138 billion, into quantum-related technologies via a national fund, the U.S. is fueling progress through a vibrant mix of private tech companies, university labs, and venture-backed startups. Major players like IBM, Microsoft, and Regetti are developing varied architectures, ranging from superconducting and trapped ion systems to hybrid quantum classical processors. The real power of quantum computing lies not in theoretical speed, but in how it's being applied to real-world problems. Both China and the U.S are now demonstrating how quantum systems can move beyond the lab to impact industries. One of China's most strategic advancements is its work on quantum communication networks, particularly quantum key distribution, QKD. QKD uses the laws of quantum mechanics to transmit encryption keys through photons. If an outside party tries to intercept these keys, the quantum state collapses, instantly alerting users to the intrusion. This creates a level of security that classical encryption methods can't match. China's biggest success in this field has been through the Mishius satellite, launched in 2016 as part of the Quantum Experiments at Space Scale program. In 2017, Mishius enabled a quantum encrypted video call between China and Austria over 7,600 kilometers. By 2025, China had successfully demonstrated a quantum-secure communication link between Beijing and South Africa, utilizing low-cost microsatellites and mobile ground stations. This marked a significant step toward creating a deployable, scalable, and internationally integrated quantum communication network. These aren't just academic milestones. They are early prototypes of global systems designed to provide secure communication services to China's international partners, especially in the BRICS group and along the Belt and Road Initiative. According to Ian Wan, a lead scientist behind Mishius, China aims to launch a commercial quantum communication service by 2027. On the U.S. side, companies are applying quantum computing to solve complex problems in fields like drug development, finance, and logistics. For example, IBM and Google are building hybrid platforms that combine classical and quantum processors to model molecular structures 
or optimize supply chain operations. American researchers also lead in quantum algorithm design and error correction theory, laying the groundwork for scalable applications. What makes this all so important is the shift from quantum systems being tools for scientists to being tools for global infrastructure. Secure communications, real-time data optimization are not just impressive use cases. They're potential building blocks of the next global digital ecosystem. As China and the United States push deeper into quantum development, it becomes clear they're pursuing fundamentally different models. These aren't just technological strategies. They reflect broader national approaches to innovation, infrastructure, and global leadership. China's model is state-coordinated and vertically integrated. From quantum processor fabrication to AI chip design and robotic deployment, many elements are developed and manufactured domestically. Government-backed institutions lead most major breakthroughs, and the funding is massive, over $138 billion committed through a national technology fund, with a clear focus on quantum control, AI, and communication technologies. This approach allows China to scale innovations quickly and integrate them across industries. The country leads the world in robotics manufacturing and is home to domestic companies like Huawei, which produces competitive AI chips such as the Ascend series. This vertical integration gives China the tools to tightly couple quantum computing with AI and robotics, building smart systems that are faster, more intuitive, and more adaptive. In contrast, the U.S. model is decentralized, interdisciplinary, and experimental. Multiple quantum computing approaches are being pursued in parallel, superconducting qubits, trapped ions, topological qubits, and more. The ecosystem includes giants like IBM and Microsoft, alongside agile startups backed by venture capital and supported by leading academic institutions. While China's coordination results in speed and scale, the U.S. excels in agility and foundational depth. For example, American researchers lead the global effort in quantum error correction, which is key to building reliable, large-scale systems. The National Quantum Initiative Act 2018, helped align resources across public and private sectors, while Silicon Valley's culture of rapid iteration enables fast prototyping and aggressive product timelines. Another key difference is in geopolitical outreach. China is already exporting quantum secure communication links and related technologies to its international partners, aiming to shape global tech standards. The U.S., on the other hand, focuses more on cloud-based access to quantum platforms, allowing global researchers and developers to experiment and innovate through services like IBM's Quantum Network and Google's Quantum AI Cloud. These two models are not just building different machines, they're building different futures, one aims to embed quantum into national infrastructure and global alliances. The race for quantum supremacy is no longer theoretical. It's unfolding in labs, startups, satellites, and national strategies. What we've seen is more than a competition of processors. It's a global effort to build the next layer of digital infrastructure. China is accelerating through state-led integration and international outreach while the U.S. leads with foundational research and innovation diversity. The real question isn't who builds the biggest quantum machine first, it's who builds the most usable, scalable, and influential ecosystem around it. That's where the future will be decided. Whether it's in secure global communication, AI-enhanced robotics, or real-time human-machine collaboration, quantum systems will soon shape how we think, work, and connect. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, Share and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.